So, you know, in 1998, I was part of a team that discovered that the universe was accelerating. And the only way we can reconcile that, that the universe is speeding up, is that gravity somehow is pushing rather than pulling. And Einstein developed a way to do that, which is that space itself has energy, or what we would say negative pressure, and it pushes out. So it would indicate that space is never empty. It's always got something in it. Now, why it would have something in it, that is a question we do not understand. That is the question of what is dark energy. And so that remains a profound mystery because it seems to bring together quantum mechanics and gravity. And you know, unifying those, those forces is really important. We don't know how to do it. String theory is one I set of ideas. And so our hope is that possibly there is some you know, Rosetta Stone hidden in dark energy. But at this point, we know about the same uh, about we know about the same amount about dark energy as when we discovered it in 1998. Gravitational waves are a a great discovery of this year. And uh, you know, if you think about what we saw with gravitational waves, we saw two black holes come together. We always say, well, how do you see a black hole? Well, we saw them. We didn't see them with light. We saw them in gravity waves. And what is amazing is general relativity predicted exactly the right answer. And that's telling us in those incredibly strong, you know, as strong as you can get, everything worked perfectly, as near as we can tell. And so I, I'm kind of surprised. The fact that it worked so well, uh, to me, is a remarkable achievement of general relativity. But it's disappointing, because it would have been nice to see it not work, because that would have given us some ideas of how general relativity works with quantum mechanics. So those objects, perhaps if we can start identifying where they are in space and localizing them, we can measure distances very accurately and that can help us measure cosmic acceleration more accurately, but we got a ways to go before we can do that. So the Large Hadron Collider is another uh, you know, amazing instrument we have here on Earth. So as we collide things together, we're producing the Higgs boson, we produce all the other particles we know about, but we know there's some problems. Why do neutrinos have mass? Why are there baryons or atoms at all? Because the current theory of particle physics is everything should have just been photons. Uh, what is dark matter? Is it a particle? Those are all things we can hope we might get an idea of from LHC if we can produce particles that help explain things beyond our current understanding. Now there's a chance we're seeing something right now. It's not confirmed yet, so we need to wait and see. But if LHC finds something beyond the Higgs, that would be a good beginning. Maybe it is dark matter in the lab. Who knows? Uh, so I think that's a, an important part of the, uh, the arsenal we have to understand physics at its, at its core.